Ang programang ito ay rated SPG. Striktong patnubay at gabay ng magulang ang kailangan. Maaaring may maseselang tema, lengguahe, karahasan, sexual, horror o droga na hindi angkop sa mga ba- one of his students. We had a thing back then, but I prioritized my study. We become friends, or so it called, we become more than friends, but less than lovers. We supported each other's dreams. We become each other's confinements, even had GF or BF at that time. We remain friends till we decided to cry make it official. He was my first legal boyfriend. Throughout our relationship, there are some arguments and struggles, but his cheating issues was my biggest issue. But because I love him, I still accept him. Or so I thought, eventually, kinakain na pala ako ng insecurity at trust issues. Pinag-aawayan namin yon. Pero nagbabati din eventually because I was so afraid to lose him. Mahal na mahal ko siya that I lost myself in the process. Through years, he tried na magbago. He showed me that he is changed man. He showered me love, care, and attention. You could imagine, we planned our future na together and our relatives thought kami na talaga hanggang huli. We planned everything already. Until dumating yung time na I needed to go abroad for a greener pasture. For a greener pasture. We promised each other na we will get married when I get back home. For the past one year na LDR, I thought we're okay. May mga away pero we get through it. We're not making it a big deal. I'm planning the wedding na. Even both accessories almost bought wedding gown and rings na for us para ready na lahat pag uwi ikakasal na lang 6 months before ako umuwi my classmates in college randomly chatted me if my BF and I was still together because we don't usually post on social media I'm still at work that day although kinabahan na ako I calm myself iniisip ko baka hindi naman siguro hindi naman Hindi naman magagawa ulit sa akin siguro. Okay kami. Or so I thought. She validated the details first. The car that he used. That he was with my sister that day or what. Till she sent me the images. Nanlamig ako. Gumuho bigla ang mundo ko. A picture of him with another girl. One of his students that time. My world smiling at the other girl. Taking picture of her. Happily, I tried calling him his number and his second social media, but he didn't answer. During the time he's with that girl, he turned off every possible way to contact him. I couldn't concentrate to work. My tears keeps on falling like a waterfall while I'm doing my charting. Naabutan pa nga ako ng consultant namin na ganun, and I still have to endorse to him about the status of our patient. Crying. Imagine. I confronted when I get the chance to contact him. He told me kaibigan niya lang daw ang girl na kailangan niya daw ng mahingan kasi masyado daw akong busy sa work. I asked him why. Bakit niya kailangan magpapasok na ibang tao sa usapan at problema namin? Na kami dapat ang umayas. May problema pala kami, ba't di niya sa akin sinabi? but sa ibang tao pa? That day destroyed me mentally, physically, and emotionally. Dahil after that issue, random stranger keeps sliding into my DM, telling how he's fool- fooling around while I'm building our future. They're laughing at my back, making a fool out of me. After I came home from abroad, we tried to fix things because honestly, I'm still so in love with him. I didn't tell my family about what happened kasi iniisip ko sayang yung 8 years. Sayang yung pag-ibig naming binuo at pinaglaban ng matagal. But still, naging constant pa din yung arguments namin about the girl because the issue really never addressed. 
Binaon lang pero hindi na resolba. Pandemic comes, mas dumalas ang away. Lumala ang and overthinking at trust issues ko. Until one day, I told him tama na, ayoko na. Yes, ako ang nakipaghiwalay. Kahit mahal na mahal ko pa, kasi I felt di na siya masaya sa akin. Na he's just staying kasi nasaya na lang siya sa akin. Because little did he know, I still saw him keeping in touch with the same girl. I'm just keeping a blind eye because I love him that much. Pero, pagod na din ako magtiis and that day I finally called it quits with him for the first time ever. I broke down in front of my parents kasi hindi na talaga kaya. Nagulat pa sila kasi akala nila okay kami. Nag-propose na nga eh, but I'm thankful na nag-open up ako sa kanila. Sa wakas, they supported me through the process. Now, nabalitaan ko through friend, he's not dating the girl but giving it a long key. For the, for the man that wants my world, I hope you become happy than you had with me. Please, you be a man enough not to keep her. I'm happy watching grow and building your own empire and success, even from afar. I'll cheer for you. Thank you for your past 8 years of loving, but we meant of happiness so far. Yan mga kasyobis ang ating pentong maalaala sa araw na ito. Sana po ay nagustuhan niyo po ito. Sa mga bago pa lang po sa channel ko, mag-subscribe na po kayo para maging updated po kayo sa ating mga bago kasi. Ayan po ang ating maalaala preto sa araw na ito. Nakakalungkot mga pamagat po ng ating paalaala ang pwento sa araw na ito ay ako yung nauna pero siya ang wakas. Yun yung kanta ni Moira de la Torre na ano, yung paubaya. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat mga kasyobis sa pag-inig. Hanggang sa huli. Bye-bye.